Prophet Martin Apollo from South Sudan. I was been having very complicated dream regarding the exam, very complicated exam. They have been repeating itself several times. I say, oh God, what do you mean in my life? You should sit that exam and pass it. Because your exam is concerning the whole family. The whole family is devastated behind. Mm. Where is this? What the man of God draw here is true. It's the altar is called Ikor. In our father's house, they used to put behind the house. Because I saw it in your hand. They have altar long time ago. This is a house, and there was a tree. This is true. We have a tree in our home in the village, mm. and this is our house. And this is chair. This is what is disturbing you in your ministry or in whatever you are doing. You are a true man of God. My ministry is a lot, a lot of work. It's struggling in the finance. To contribute to buy a microphone, it will cost me this almost three what months. This has caused poverty. This anointing is not from God. This, this. Mm. And my wife Diana, uh, this is uh, Emmanuel Tangun, is also a man of God. Uh, the prophecy is 100% true. Uh, in my father's house, the same map that uh, Prophet drew, this is exactly the, the map of our family. Uh, there is a tree. And in this place, what the man of God draw this? They say altars here because my grandfather, he was a witch doctor of rain coming to the rainy season uh, during the cultivation. Uh, all people come and gathered in this altar and to present it, they give to allow the rain, rain and the harvest to be good in that particular year. So, and this is uh, actually is a hundred percent true. He used to sit here because he's a sheep of that community. People come and get him under the tree and consult him for them to know what is going to happen this year uh, in this calabash. It's a big altar, by the way. There are big altars, there are many altars, and this is the main altar that they use to, to minister under. <laughs> when I was in Nairobi uh, last week, my father used to come to me and fight me seriously. Even I tell my wife, I said, I don't know what happened to this man. Every time he used to come and he's a dead man. He used to come and fight me, he used to come and fight me. Finally, even sometimes, my brothers also, they used to come in the dream and fight me seriously. I planned this coming here, man of God prophet, uh, because I've been disturbed uh, because, by this issue. Because the moment you are calling God, you are calling Jesus, mm. it affects them. That's true. Because for them, they are witch doctors. Yes. And you are calling Jesus to destroy them. That is true. That is the fight you have in life. Yes, true man of God. And that is the setback. This is the true man of God. You wanted to go abroad? You are true, many times. The white man promised everything, but That's it true. all failed. That's true, sir. Because you dreamt three days before that they were fighting you. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Gentlemen, is overwhelmed with the truth. Thank you, Lord. Prophecy. Oh my Jesus Christ. I dream like uh, my father, uh, he came and he started to be annoyed with me and fight me seriously. Every time when I go to the village in my dream, I fight a lot of battle. All these powers of darkness and the witchcraft is being uprooted from his life. All the darkness being flashed out in Jesus' mighty name. Go. This is deliverance that is taking place for him. In Jesus' powerful name. This is my husband. Your husband. 
and what he said is really true. Mm. Uh, there is too much debt in our family, and also I have two years in marriage without a child. There is no problem. The fat man has no cast you. You had a fat man has no cast you. My name is Diana Evans. I'm from South Sudan. What man of God said about the fat man is really true. That fat man wanted to marry me, but from that time I refused him, and even my father doesn't like him. All the time you were thinking that this is the man who casts you, that you cannot bear children. That's not true. Well, for the wife as well, she too is being delivered.